Morning guys, it's Rod in the shop, well in my office rather, my temporary lab. Uh, and I'm getting ready to do some experience, experiments this morning. I'm going to use my West Mountain radio. And uh, But the first thing I'm just going to show you here this morning real quick is uh, I recharged my 400 amp hour pack yesterday. And as you can see it's sitting at 13.8 volts with zero amps flowing. That means the battery's full, as far as I consider it full. And this is what delivered the 413 amp hours previously on my capacity test on these 400 amp hour cells that are 15 years old. So anyway, what I want to show you is how much stored energy there is above 13.8 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this up to like 14.4 or 14.2 or something like that. And we're going to see the current go all the way up to like the maximum output of this, which is 60 amps. And I've got to say, you can see I've got it set all the way to the max. And that won't last very long. And then it will start to immediately ramp down because the voltage has come up to that voltage. So ready, I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to go to 14.4. And we can see that it's taking it for a few seconds. Now look at how fast that drops. That means it came up to 14.4 that fast. And now look at this. There's no current stored above 13.8. I mean, not much. This is maybe like, we're not even going to, by the time we're done, this we can't even calculate that as probably two tenths of an amp hour going into this battery. But I'm going to do some experiments later with those 25 amp hour cells back there. Charge, discharge, and show exactly, you know, what the capacity is and charge to this voltage, charge to that voltage. I charged to 13.8 for, uh, for 15 years on this pack and it worked perfectly. The pack is still delivering over capacity at 15 years old with 2,500 cycles on it. So I, I'm pretty confident that my 13.8 volts works. Even though early on people told me I was insane, I was going to ruin the batteries, yet nobody could present a scientific explanation as to how charging them at 13.8 was bad for them. There is no explanation, that's why. Even electrical engineers who would pontificate on the internet that, well, you're going to wear these things out by calendar life first, Still had no explanation why my battery was doing so well at 13.8 volts when they were telling me out the other side of their mouth that I'm going to kill the bank and murder it. No such thing is true. So anyway, we can see how quickly that... And now we're almost down to... I mean, this is this is way beyond full right now. So full on this pack is considered uh, 3.6 volts per cell. That's where we are right now. And less than 10 amps is full. So we can see how quickly that happened. This bank is... It went from 13.8 to, to under 10 amps in no time at all. In fact, I can rewind the video when I'm done and figure that out. But anyway, my voice is bad in the mornings, and I, I apologize, but uh, we can see how much energy was stored above 13.8 volts. And there's, that, the answer is not much. So uh, anyway, that's, that's what I've done. I got 15 years out of this pack, 2,500 plus cycles, most every cycle to 80% depth of discharge at least. This was on purpose because I wanted to prove that, you know, and, and or disprove that this battery could do that many cycles. And it can. But back then when I bought these cells, they were only rated at 2,000 cycles to 80% depth of discharge. I've, I've pushed them to over 2,500 with over, well over 100 cycles to 0% on top of the, the 2,500 cycles to 80% depth of discharge. So that far exceeded how the manufacturer originally rated these cells. Now they rate them at like four or 5,000. But back then, they were only rating them at 2,000. So these batteries fully exceeded everything the manufacturer stated back in 2009. And this little experiment here is just a, an explanation of what happens. And the reason the current goes down, I'll ex just explain this real quick, is because this is what's called constant voltage mode. Over here, when it went to 60 amps, that's called constant current. And you can see there's a CC and a CV. Right now, the green light is on meaning we're in CV, constant voltage. So what happens is when the bank comes up to 14.4 volts, and this, this power supply has voltage sensing right on the battery, so it knows exactly what the battery terminal voltage is. And uh, then it will hold the voltage steady, and the only way to not overshoot that voltage is by reducing the current. So the current has to go down to not overshoot this voltage. That's what constant voltage mode means. If I were to put a big load on this battery bank right now, you'd see this go right back to 60 amps again, and then once you took the load off, the same thing would happen again. Anyway, I hope this helps, and maybe it, maybe it puts a little uh, end to the myths about constant voltage and constant current. And 
how much energy is stored about 13.8 volts or 3.45 volts per cell. Take care, guys.